I'm Captain Grant Coppin with Texas Fishing Tips, and this is your weekly fishing report. All right, guys, it's good to be back. Now we're after the holidays, uh, up here just north of the causeway with the low tide. Um, a lot of these drains have producing fish along the ICW. Um, we've been throwing live shrimp when we can find it. Uh, it's been a little bit hard to come by, so make sure you uh, get it quick because it does run out fast. But just go down this uh, ICW, hit all the drains, hit all the pockets, and uh, you'll catch some good reds and some really nice trout. All right, guys, over here in the Packery Channel, we've been catching good numbers of sheephead and a few scattered black drum. Uh, believe it or not, the sheephead are here, and they're ready to go. Um, I've been catching them right along here through the bridge all the way out to the jetties, catching uh, on shrimp, cut uh, peeled shrimp, or uh, the ghost shrimp, the ones that you find on the beach. All the way out to the jetties, you'll catch those sheepies. A lot of big ones coming in. Uh, a couple of big bull drum coming in. Still a little early for that, but they're coming uh, inside the jetties. Over here just south of Pita Island, on the east drop-off, we've been catching good numbers of trout. Lots of little ones, but there's keepers in here too. Uh... Looks like Texas Parks and Wildlife still hasn't made up their mind as to what they're going to do with the trout limits. But uh, um, some of the proposals are 15 to 20 inches, 1 over 20, um, and uh, maybe 1 over 25. I'm, I'm not quite for sure what they're going to do yet. But as of right now, you can keep them 15 to 25, 1 over 25 per day. So... Come in here, catch some of these nice box fish, popping corks in, live shrimp work best. Up here just north of the uh, breakaway bar, we've been catching good fish in some of these spoils. Uh, when that wind's cranking, these spoils tend to do really well. The tide's low, so you can just kind of back off of them and get to the get to the grass line or the drop off on each one of these spoil islands this one right here that i've got kind of covered up with the yellow mark um it's it's really good right now um some of these islands over here are producing i've been catching good numbers of drum sheephead a couple of redfish a couple of trout you know nothing limited limits uh but catching good mixed boxes of everything. Down here on the south shore around Black Bluff, we've been catching good numbers of trout. Uh, I don't come down here when it's real windy, but when the wind is light, there's some awesome opportunities to catch some good fish down here. Good box fish, everything over 17, um, but 15, 16s are just as e easy to catch as the 17s. Uh, but both White Bluff and Black Bluff have been producing real good live shrimp and popping corks. Uh, also, I've been getting up on this shelf when I can. If I can't, then just get close to it. Throw your cut bait up on the sand. Make sure it's hitting the sand, though, because if it hits the grass, it gets buried and bogged down in the grass. You can't catch anything. Uh, so make sure it hits the sand. You can see the big sand pockets on the edge of this drop off here. And, um, just come down here and catch some really nice fish and, and don't do it when it's windy because the south shore of Baffin can get really rough on a very windy day. I'm Captain Grant Coppin. Thanks for watching.